Hi guys. How are we going there guys? So what we're doing here is a 12 month or just a, oh, over 12 months review on our caravan. Um, we've been in it living full time for 12 months and we thought we'd give you a bit of a rundown. What we like, what we don't like. Yeah. Um, some improvements that we may make further down the track. Um, that sort of stuff. So here's a look at our MDC XT16 HR, HR. East, East West. West. My God, that's a mouthful. <laughs> it's our MDC caravan. We call it Al. To give you a little bit of a recap on our caravan tour, we're going to link up the original video up here of when we first got our caravan and did a walk around. Um, but one of the things that we love about this caravan is the compact size. And we'll give you a quick look around. So we've got the East West bed. Our dining area, our full indoor kitchen, and our ensuite bathroom. So it's separate toilet and shower. So we've been in our caravan now for over, over a year. Over a year. And uh, we just wanted to give you all a bit of an update on um, what we what we think about it, how we're finding it. Um, some of the things that we love and some of the things that we don't love. So the first thing that we love... Yes, is having an indoor kitchen that includes an oven. We would use the oven probably every second day. Um, and a lot of the caravans that we see only have a grill, like a hot plate and a grill. Um, having the um, um, oven is a game changer for us. So this is the kitchen really quite good hob with one big one two small ones allows plenty of room for different size pots and this is the oven we were referring to so it's a fairly good size oven and uh, as i said we use this um, uh, probably every second day or every third day so uh, for us fantastic um, and as you can see there's no microwave in here so another thing that we love about this caravan is the ensuite bathroom. It is fantastic to have an ensuite, a separate shower and toilet. Um, we don't have to be looking for a caravan park or somewhere and we don't have to shower out or go to the toilet outside. Yeah, and it's everything's in our bathroom, so it's really convenient to not have to pack everything up and go to a separate shower somewhere. Yep. Um, mind you, when we are staying at caravan parks on the rare occasions, Brenton will, will most certainly make use of the uh, amenities there. This is the East West bed. Uh, we actually quite like this. Um, this is a full size uh, mat queen mattress uh, and there's even a couple of inches uh, to spare down the bottom here. So. This is not a caravan mattress. Caravan mattresses tend to be a little bit, queen size, tend to be a little bit smaller and quite often they'll have the corners cut off. Uh, if you're a taller person, that does make it a little bit difficult. But this mattress, because it was relatively new, um, came from our bed uh, in the house that we had. Um, I sleep this side, Kem's a bit younger than me, so she, she <laughs> sleeps the other side. And she also doesn't have to get up in the middle of the night um to go to the toilet i'm at the age where i need to do that so um <laughs> this works well for us it won't work well for everyone uh, but it also saves a lot of room if this was an island bed this van would have to mm. be and you will see that if you go to a lot of caravan manufacturers you'll see that the 18 foot 6 or the 19 foot caravans have uh, an island bed anything smaller than that will end up having an east west or a um, one that you have to fold up. Mm. So one of the other things about uh, the caravan is the diesel heater. Um, that has come in, we've used it heaps basically. It's down here. So that's the outlet and that's the controller there. So you just switch it on and there's um, a temperature control and a fan control. Uh, it's very easy to use. We've got it on low, we have it on low most of the time because it's such a small space, it, it warms up nicely. Um, couldn't have got through our winters in the southern regions without it. Even here in Winton, 
Uh, we have put it on a couple of times here in Winton because it does get very chilly. Uh, that's typical of the outback. Just Beautiful first thing warm in the days morning. and yeah, yeah. chilly in the morning. So um, we have used it here a couple of times as well. Yeah. So this little caravan <laughs> has a pretty impressive amount of solar. We've got 700 kilowatts of Se solar. No, 700 watts of solar. Panel. Oh, 700 watts of solar on our roof. We've got four solar panels. Yep. And we have uh, one 200, 200 amp hour lithium battery. Our only complaint would be the setup would probably benefit from having two batteries. Yep. But we've never run out of power, um, even running Starlink now. Yep. Uh, I think the lowest that we've got is about 60%. Oh, no, about 50%. 50% yep. running we've gone Starlink. We've gone to about 50%. Yeah. But before we had the Starlink, we really never dropped below 70%. Yep. So it's got a very impressive amount of solar on it yep. for such a small caravan. It has indeed. So one of the things that we don't like about this caravan is the outside kitchen. So this is our outdoor kitchen, um, which we would like to change at some point. Um, basically it's right next to the door, which can be a bit of a pain. Um, also, we've got a great kitchen inside. I think this would be much better with the barbecue here, uh, across here lengthways, so you operate it that way. Quite like the idea of having the sink here, but once again, this takes up a lot of room. I think this could be better utilised um, somehow else, which we will probably look at doing it uh, as an option later on. Um, but, I mean, look at it, it's fantastic. And I think if we didn't have an indoor kitchen, obviously well, we'd have we'd to, use, have this, to use this and enjoy using it. So yeah. it just depends on how you can. How you can, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just feel that this would be, I'd utilize this much more if it had a barbecue on it rather than the um, hot plates. Because hmm. what I need to do now, if I want a barbecue, I have to actually have a separate barbecue. So then I've got an indoor kitchen, an outdoor kitchen and a barbecue. What's the point? So MDC have actually been pretty good with um, warranty stuff in the regards of our water pump died and they sent out a replacement pump for us really quickly. Um, unfortunately, our new pump that we received had a couple of little issues, um, but they talked us through how to fix it, and it seems to be working okay. Yeah. So one of the other things that uh, we're not in love with uh, is the awning. It's an, it's an electric awning, which is fantastic, but it is also quite flimsy. Um, we're scared to keep it up when it's even a little bit windy. Um, don't know what we can do about that, um, whether we can change it out or not, but um, that's one of the things. And we hardly ever put the awning out. In fact, if we can, we'll pull the troopy up next to the, the caravan and put the awning out on the troopy. Uh, it's much stronger. And it's quicker to put out and pull back in. Yeah, than the electric one. Yeah, than the caravan one. Yep. So we tend to use the troopy awning a lot more. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So overall, we're pretty happy with the um, MDC. Um, there are a couple of things that we will change or look at changing um, sometime in the future. One of those is the toilet. So take out the cassette toilet and put in a composting toilet. Um, a range of things there, water, um, chemicals, chemicals and um, to emptying it frequency uh, of yeah. having to empty it so even with the smallest one it'd be three weeks and with the biggest composting toilet it could be up to eight weeks before you need to empty it we have been caught out we've been in places where there isn't a, a dump point and we've actually had to drive um, like an hour, an hour to, to <laughs> just to empty the just toilet just empty the toilet yeah um, so that is a bit of an issue hmm. yeah one thing that we find a little annoying about this caravan is the internal lights. They're all a bright white and there's no dimmer switches anywhere. Um, it would be nice to have um, an alternate light or a dimmer 
Um, mm. Don't know if we can do that. That is something we will investigate. Even like the little down lights, it would be nice, uh, sorry, spotlights. Yeah. Even if we could put like a lighter bulb into those, it yeah. would be nice. Yeah. Mm. One thing we have had an issue with is getting a couple of our warranty jobs done. And it's not MDC's fault. Not necessarily their fault. Um, the problem that we've got is that we live in the van full time and we have been traveling um, and the only service facilities that they have are in capital cities, um, which is an issue if you're over on the Air Peninsula or you're up at yeah. your data or... We tend um, to work more remotely. Yeah, and we work. Um, we have tried to tear it up once when we had an opportunity, uh, gave them plenty of notice, but unfortunately that week was the week that the service technician had off. So, um, so we have a couple of ongoing issues that we need to get sorted. And the main one is our DC to DC charger. Yes. So our caravan does not charge when we're driving. Yeah, the battery uh, doesn't charge while we're driving, mm -hmm. uh, unless it's bright and sunny um, and the solar does that. Yeah. But on an overcast day or a rainy day... Um, we're it would be nice to be able to charge from, the battery from, from, from the driving. Vehicle, yeah. yeah. Um, so we are hoping that we'll have an opportunity to get a couple of these issues resolved yeah. uh, towards the end of the year. Yeah. In Brisbane, hopefully. Hopefully in Brisbane. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things that we have done to improve our life here in the van uh, is some of these. So what we've got here is bamboo uh, little holders. So they're storage solutions, makes it easy to get stuff in and out of. In this particular cupboard, we've also put a, um, like a little bridge thing. Like so we shelf. can shelf so that we can stack things on top. Uh, this next cupboard is pretty similar in terms of uh, these wonderful little storage, bamboo storage solutions. They're really light, they're quite strong, um, and it's worked out really well for us. The other thing is we've got some great hangers here. Um, so these are like macrame um, hangers, and we've got these um, suck-on um, things from Oops, Bunnings, Bunnings, hooks. Uh, so a bunch of those around the place um, for that hanger. There's stuff here for the towels. Over there, there's also, we've changed out the soap holder. So it was stuck in behind here, which is really in the way your towel. So we've basically taken that off and put the soap hanger here. Uh, once again, with one of those um, Suction. suction things from Bunnings. They're really, really good. You pump them up and they, they, we have nothing fall off. Oh, we did lose one. We lost um, this one here. It snapped in half. Yeah, but it hasn't fallen, the, no. the suction hasn't fallen off. Yeah. One of the other things that we got, our shoes tend to get in the way. So we've got one of these shoe hangers. Um, it just basically sits here at the door. Um, and it holds um, shoes, slippers, that sort of stuff, so that we can keep the doorway uh, relatively clear uh, of shoes. So with the bamboo um, holders, boxes, they also come uh, in like a cutlery size. So what we've done here is we've actually put two in here that we can put all of the larger stuff in, and then we just slide one of these in on top. Um, we can access everything and basically this saves a lot of uh, space. And it might look like we have a lot of stuff, but remember we actually live in our caravan full time. This is not a holiday for us. So, um, you know, we've kept our nice global knife set and... Um, got a good cutlery set, all those sorts of things. We've got four of your basics, knives, yep. forks, spoons. We found two just weren't enough. No. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it works well for us. Yes. So as you can see, we've put some of those bamboo boxes in the bottom of our kitchen cupboard to hold um, bottles of oil and dishwashing liquid and stuff like that to stop it from falling over or breaking. And uh, so far, so good. We haven't yeah. had any issues with anything moving. No, it's been great. Hmm. One of the other things that we've done for comfort, uh, for us, is take off the curtains that were here. They're very old fashioned. They took up a lot of space. 
didn't allow as much light in. So we've completely taken those off um, and here as well. Uh, what we've done with this one is we've just got a scarf uh, which Kem hemmed up. Yeah, just basically folded in half and got someone to stitch the top of it. And it's a beautiful scarf, so it closes over at night time when we need it to. Um, and then basically just do that during the day, allows the light in. So all of the windows we've taken the curtains off. We don't need curtains because we've got these block outs. And this is uh, much better in terms of allowing the light into um, the caravan when we need it. So we looked at a lot of caravans before we settled on this one and um, they were between 17 and 20 foot. Yep. And we just felt that this the, felt more spacious. This offered to us, offered more space. Yeah, um, because of the bed layer. Yeah. It wasn't just the bed layout, not only did it offer more space, the inclusions in this were mostly options in other vans. Yeah, it came standard with lithium battery. Came standard with a 700 watts of solar. Came standard with a diesel heater. Came standard with an oven. Came standard with two Sirocco fans. So all of these things add up when you're pricing a caravan or getting something um, built. Um, so this to us was value for money. So one of the other things that is a bit of a pain is these. They're white lights, all the outside lights are white lights, um, not yellow, so they do attract the bugs. We hardly ever have lights on here in the evening for that reason. Um, not sure what we can do about that either, but uh, we'll look into that. It is a pain in the ass. So it is suggested that we can take the lights off and paint them paint the with like a nail back polish of with a nail or something. Orange nail polish or something like that. Yeah. Not sure if that's going to work, uh, but we will give it a go. We do, however, have an alternative to these. We've got these Lucy lights. Um, so these are solar powered. They're little string lights which we can put around um, the caravan, the awning, the whatever we want to. Um, they're a lot softer. They are still white. Um, probably still will attract some bugs, but they're much better in terms of the brightness. They also uh, have three different settings on them, so you can have them bright if you need them, uh, less bright and really quite romantically dull. We have even set them up inside a few times to give you that nice moody light through the caravan we at have. night. And they've been awesome. Why did we do that? Um, because we were, it was really cloudy. Oh yes, we'd run our batteries down. We'd run our batteries down because we were running Starlink and uh, we just wanted to conserve a bit of power at yep. night time. So yep. we turned off all of our lights and used our Lucy used lights Lucy inside. Lights. Yep. Worked a treat. <laughs> So one of the things that we uh, have also done, we've swapped out our jockey wheel to a boss jockey wheel. Absolute game changer. Uh, we've got a complete video on that and then how to install it. That'll be linked up here. So one of the other things that I've done, uh, because we have a great extractor fan, um, however the outlet of the extractor fan is really quite high, and I'm only a short ass, um, we actually need a ladder. Um, so I've mounted uh, this ladder here, perfect spot for it, really simple to do, a couple of little brackets and some self-tapping screws and a couple of tie-down straps. Uh, part of the reason we don't get uh, smells in the house is because the extraction fan is very, very good. So that is the extraction fan, which has a little cover that goes over it. I actually need to get on the ladder to take that off uh, when we arrive at camp or to put it on when we're leaving. So the other thing that we've uh, done is we, rather than use the normal caravan filters that you might uh, be aware filter? of, the inline filter, we've opted to do something like this. So this is a twin filter. So one of these is five micron, one of them is one micron. Um, it's a much better system. Um, takes most of the smell away if you've got uh, chlorine water. Uh, it's a real game changer using something like this. I've just got this uh, mounted here on a couple of um, Oki straps. Very easy, simple. Not that I do the washing, but this is something that comes in really handy. Um, I think we got this at Target for a I couple of bucks. Kmart. Or Kmart. Like cost less than five dollars. 
and the beauty of it is it will hang up um, in here just like that or outside under a tree um, saves the clothesline a lot yeah so one thing we don't love about this caravan is the inverter we have a thousand watt inverter which will not run our air conditioner off grid no um, our air conditioner is a two um, 2.2 watt no. kilowatt. kilowatt. Um, so we would need probably a 3,000 watt Yeah, two and a half to 3,000 watt inverter to actually operate that. Mm. Um, and that's what we were saying about the batteries. Another battery in here, uh, bringing up to um, 400. 400 amp hours would be fantastic. Then we could run um, the air conditioner off grid. The other thing is access. It is If we wanted to plug something into it, um, like a blender blender or a coffee machine or, or a hair straightener <laughs> anything like that the access is pretty bad it's actually underneath the seat that, seat that Ken's on. sitting on um, and it's got to go through this hole then the cord's got to come out so if we would have to run an extension, extension cord. cord somewhere um, which we have never actually used it, no. probably never will in that situation so overall we love our tiny house on wheels Yes, it's fantastic. It's very comfortable. Uh, we enjoy it a lot. Um, we're not sponsored by MDC. We have literally nothing to do with them. So um, what you see is what you get this here. This is our personal opinion yep. on our over on 12 months living full time in yep. our caravan. What do you think, Charlie? <laughs> See ya. Bye for next time. <laughs>